Assalamualaikum Dr. Azhar. My name is Moniza Afham B. Marzuki Rashidi. Matrix number B082010216. I'm from program 2 BEEL. I'm about to present my business plan as per requested. Introduction to the business and product or service. We at One Media Resources provide event, the application of project management to the conception and development of small and or large scale personnel or business events like festival, conferences, ceremonies, weddings, formal parties, concerts or conversation is known as management. The product rental, we rent our product to customer for as long as they need them in order for them to have a successful event. Display panel, nowadays almost every event that is currently taking place requires the rental of a display panel. This is due to the fact that the most display panels are costly, difficult to build, delicate and bulky. Product sale, Our customer can also acquire accessories and electronics equipment for their personal usage. Next, we go to the business model canvas or BMC. We have key partners. Our important partners in business are this relationship we have with other businesses to ensure the success of our business strategy. The key activities are required by our business model. These are the most critical tasks that we firm must complete in order to be successful. Then, key resources is the essential inputs that we firm employs to construct its value proposition, service its customer segment, and deliver the product to the customer are referred to as key resources. Then, value proposition is the promise made by a corporation to provide value to customers if they choose to acquire their goods. Then, customer relationship. Some of our customer interaction and experiences is customer relations, which is a company-wide process of developing strong relationships with our customer. Channels. To provide our value proposition, our channels outline how our organization communicates with and reaches out to our customer segment. And then, customer segment is the practice of categorizing customers into groups based on shared qualities so that businesses may market to each group effectively and efficiently. Cost structure of a business is the sum of the numerous form of fees and variable charges that make up its overall expenses. Revenue streams is a company or organization of source of income. Then we go to administration plan. Our objective is to ensure that this organization performs its best against a variety of market challenges. Organizational chart. We have general manager, chief financial officer, chief marketing officer, human resource and secretary. Personal responsibilities. Chief financial officer in charge of overseeing the company's financial operation. Chief marketing officer in terms of growth and sales. This chief makes chief marketing officer one of the most valuable position in the organization. Human resource manager responsible for developing and implementing HR strategy and activities that are in line with the broader business plan. Secretary, administrative professional or personal assistant job include assisting management including executive through project management, communication and organizational abilities. Marketing plan, target market customer segment followed by market size and share and then marketing strategies then social media marketing followed by distributional channels lastly customer relationship for operations plan the loading zone on the top left a section of a designated for the immediate loading or unloading items sorting zone sorting is a way accurately categorizing a warehouse object based on its feature the below product inspection zone is the process of inspecting things for compliance with our criteria and requirement and then product asset labeling Product labeling refers to the display information about our product on its package. And then lastly, product ready zone. All products that have completed all of the necessary process are saved here to be used later. For financial plan, ensure and prepare sufficient finance for the company's operation to protect the money's security, to ensure that we are able to deliver funds and they are efficient, effective and profitable. Lastly, to ensure that the financial funds are not sitting dormant. Project implementation cost, cost of asset, cost of equipment, renovation, furniture, etc. And then working capital, cost of salary, rental, raw material, etc. And lastly, miscellaneous items, business registration, rental deposit, contingencies, etc. Source of finance, consider how to fund the activities when starting up as a well 
as they are day-to-day -day operations. Various costs need to be covered such as equipment, stock and paying bills. Target net profit and working capital. The predicted profit that management sets and tries to attain for a certain period is known as the goal net income. While working capital, the amount of liquid asset a firm has to deploy over the next 12 months in relation to its short-term financial obligation for the same time period is an accounting measure. Break-even is the point where the cost and income are equal and there is neither profit nor loss, a financial outcome that does not indicate profit or loss. Return on investment or ROI, the profit earned on an investment is divided by the cost of that investment to determine the return on investment ROI. When represented as a percentage, an investment with profit of $100 and the cost of $100 will have a ROI of 1 or 100%. It is the ratio between the net return of the investment and the cost of investment. ROI final value of investment minus by initial cost of investment divided by initial cost of investment multiplied by 100. Conclusion To business plan is summary of plan strength intended to persuade the reader of the company's success. Because business plans are often written to attract funds or inventor, the conclusion should concentrate on how the company earns money and why it is a worthwhile investment. I am grateful for the chance to finish my company strategy. I have had a lot of new experiences which have been quite beneficial to my engagement in this industry. I am hopeful that my company will be able to expand without difficulty in the future. I will take full responsibility and effort and I am confident that I will achieve all of my objectives. I also advise everyone to assume any risk, direct or indirect, in order to boost our future company performance. I think that's all for my business plan video presentation. Thank you, Dr. Azar, for watching.